Hey, what's up, everyone? We're we're, we're live. Top Deck Productions. Who are you, dude? I'm Matthew Minier. Yeah. So, All right. Uh, so Robert was forced to uh, get a, a second commentary. Yep. Uh, uh, which is a bummer. I mean, honestly, like personally, I'd rather commentate solo. It's a lot more fun, but that's okay. I mean, commentating solo does get tiresome at times. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun anyways, though. Yeah. So we got Isaiah Edwards, uh, meme lord. Also, this is, yeah. he's all, not only a meme lord. This is his birthday. It is. Yeah. Okay. I sent him a birthday text this morning. And I was like, you know what? I want to be ungeneric and actually send him a birthday because I uh -huh. like him. Yeah. Um, and this is Luke. Uh, two about ten minutes ago, I was building a uh, Abzan for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's never actually played this deck before. No. Why did he want to play? He's just like... He forward? wants to try a mid-range deck. All right, sure. So he's at 19. He's probably going to fetch for a dual land. Probably. I imagine... Or a basic swamp. The idea would be to... There's no basic planes. Here. Nice. Okay. That's a waste. Because um, it's fine. Like, you only, there's only one, one white spell in the deck now. Mm -hmm. Fatal push. All right. That's fine. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd prefer a Thoughtseize, I think, but... Uh, or an Inquisition. Mm hmm Because, like, Fatal Push doesn't take... I don't think he has it in his hand. He also has a Force, basically. All right, so Isaiah is getting stuck in lands. I just play Shamlin Vent, probably? Unless, like, he has a 2-drop here. Okay, yeah, so Boy's a 4-5. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yep. Artifact Creature. Yep. Busted. Oh, yeah. Artifact Creatures are good. Second land here for Isaiah is actually pretty huge. Uh, so when I let... Uh, um, basically... Unlock I oh my god, I see his hand stacked. Yeah, he has overseer, yes. plating, plating. What else do you see in there? Uh Arcbound. Arcbound. Uh, okay, I think yeah. I saw another overseer. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so Ravenger is gonna make this hand really good. Yeah. As it does for most affinity matches. So swing for four. Taking it, yep. Fourteen. Kind of a does he not have a souls in hand? Luke? I guess not. Oh he does! Okay, so he's just gonna Okay, I think I know what he's doing. He also has Shambling then, too, so... Yeah, I know he's probably going to fetch for a white... I say it's Charles. Yikes! Yeah. Uh, let's just Wait, play the other Overseer! Oh, Isaiah on. knows... Yeah, uh, yeah. Isaiah knows the uh, path is clear. Yep, just put counters on everyone. Wait, why didn't Luke um, either play Shambling or play Lingering Souls here? Um... Because... I don't know. Spell one looks really bad here, and also he can't, like... That's so now, the fetch line that he played for a turn isn't doing anything. It's just going to fetch. Right? So he just want to get the white source. <laughs> I know, yeah, but Shamalim meant enters tap, so he could have just yeah. forced that out first. So, he's going to get the white swor source, probably. Uh, and then he's going to use... So, yeah. Activate Shamalim Vent. Shrink Goyf by one. Target Isaiah draw card. Not activate Shamalim Vent, activate the spell bomb, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, he wants to draw an answer to the only pay one life for the white. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, lingering souls is like a temporary answer, I guess. All right, but... murder's cut is a <sighs> murder's cut doesn't do much here now. It's not great. He has three cards in his grave. Um, he's gonna get four off his extra fetch land. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna kill one of the steel overseers. That's so gonna stop the. Yeah, but like, it's kind of too late. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially once Ravenger comes in. Yeah, I mean. Luke is very fetching very conservatively here. Yeah, he is. How many basic swamps are there? Two. Okay. So he he fetched out both of them. So he's going to delve everything. I don't think he's dead quite yet, but... I mean, he can play souls to buy time. Yeah. Like, he, he can fight Goyce for it. a 3-4 uh, now, by the way, folks. Yep. And he's going to lingering souls here. Yeah, there's no land. Then but... now it's a 4-5. Yep. <laughs> a little missequence here because like Isaiah's never going to block the overseer so he's going to sure. cast souls exile yep. stuff then to get another point of damage all right you can definitely those, those tell are, yeah those you, can, you can definitely tell these are these are probably my cards now can't yep. you <laughs> oh foil pokemon card oh, so just the the signed uh, cards too oh yeah the read duke goif yep uh yeah so i was hoping to give him better basics uh-huh too I mean, OG, B of Z are fine in their own right, but, like, yeah. you know I have better. <laughs> that is true. You know I have better. Yep. Uh, uh, Spring Lace Drum here. One for <laughs> Yikes. Ravager. Yikes. All right, next turn, I think he's going to do the classic plating equip and get some damage in. We're activating Solaris here. Yeah, Isaiah's hand was honestly pretty stacked. A Milsham Pulse uh, a turn ago would have been nice to double to two for one. Um, Isaiah. Mm -hmm. 
pushing this steel overseer is fine-ish. Because, like, you're covered in the air at all times. Kind of. Yeah. You can, the Goy Swing is pretty free. Um, should just be taking it. We'll see. Isaiah's at 10. Yeah, yeah he's taking it. 10 to 6. So, we used the Swamp and the... We just used Double Swamp to Flashback Souls. Because Isaiah doesn't know that there's not uh, Path in this deck. Yeah. But there's not Path in this deck. Because huh. this is literally Redukes uh, Abzan list. Okay, sure. Um, so, I like not just firing off the push here, too. Because you don't really have a good target. Yeah, yeah. you should definitely wait on it. Yeah, Especially you're with Ravenger, everything's just awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see Isaiah's hand? No, what did he draw? He has Arcbound Triple Platen. Okay. Perfectly reasonable. Yep. Found the another plating there. This... <sighs> I think he's Isaiah is at six though, right? Yeah, yeah. Or is that nine? It's six. It's six. Uh, his die he is up, upside down for him, but yeah, okay. He's a, at six. Uh, there's four damage in the air from Luke, but yeah, like yeah, he might be able to steal it. We'll see. Uh, second Ravager. I don't know. He can't even make these Ravagers that big. No, like, he, he doesn't have artifact lands or anything, and he's uh, what he needs is cranial plating equipped to finish the job here, but. So, steel over here is helping out a lot too, though. Luke might be able to steal this, actually. I think so. He's at 16. It's funny. Uh, what were the two cards on Luke's hand? He has a land fatal push. Okay. And he so, has Shambling Man, too. So, that's another really good blocker. Is a game yeah. Game so, lot. another Link of Soul. Hey, Grim Flare doesn't do a whole lot here. Actually, wait, wait, wait. He can fatal push and swing lethal here wow. by an animating Shambling Man. And then he, he has to block the Gloyph and he takes one, two. Or, sorry. No, no, he no, has no, two no. blockers. Yeah, he has two blockers. Never mind. Forgot about single. Uh, yeah. Single pest. Right. I mean, he can force some. I don't know. I think he is. Okay, they fixed the dice. I think. Wait, yeah, was yeah. that at nine? No, 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 it was at nine, but he had it upside down. Okay. But yeah, he's definitely at six. He's getting with the spirits. Um, I think he should just get in with two of them. That way, all four of them, you know, is lethal next turn in the air. But it's still fine. I say we play Grimflare just to get another blocker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because one trick you can do with uh, Shamblin' Vent, you can use it so you can animate it, then tap it for mana to yes. block to activate Fatal Push. Yep. It's not really a trick, it's just a thing. Yeah. Ooh, this... Oh my... Oh! Oh my god! Just making mana by blocking in general. No, really uh, I think it's still a walking blister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This changes everything. Yep. This legitimately changes everything. Yeah, he can put counters on with Seal over here as well. And then with the Ravengers, can he yeah. just actually kill Luke? I don't think so. How many counters does he have here? Because he has double Ravager. Like. So, like, double Ravager math is awkward. Because, like, you sack one to Ravager, but then the molecule trigger of the other Ravager goes somewhere and else. The, the counters on these won't be transferred, no. too. So, it's one, two, So, six. double Ravager just means plus one on the current power. Yes. Like, it's plus one, basically. So, we can use... He can wipe Luke's board. Yeah, it's Fatal Push. Oh, okay, is that... I think he can board wipe, <laughs> and then... Well, Same. So, no, no, so the problem is he has Shambling Man, right? So that's going to kill him regardless, so board wiping won't actually work. But if he animates it, then he, yeah. can, he can wipe uh, Lucy. Yeah, Bible. like, I'm yeah, in response sure. to the counters being pushed on the... Put on the walking list, so he can just push. So right now, Isaiah's attacking for four, five, so nine, um, a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's very interesting from Luke. Uh, of course, Isaiah doesn't know about the Fatal Push. He does have Revolt Tube with the Fetch Land. Well, like, he can just use the Fetch Land to grow Groif. Yeah. To make it 4-5. Uh, yep. Luke's looking pretty good here, but Isaiah might be able to... Uh, like, Luke could easily mess this up. Yeah. And Walking Blister could just call his creatures here. So, that's what he's doing right now. He's Isaiah's going for the uh, Module Triggers. Making one Ravender really big, and he's gonna sack it, put all the counters on this walking blissa. Alright. I think they went the damage, yeah. So Luke took four, he's at twelve. Uh Grimflare's dead. Yep, Grimflare should be very dead. <laughs> Alright, so our Sharon just asked, hey, didn't he block with the Grimflyer? And they're just like, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, Grimflyer should be dead. It shouldn't matter, though, but... 
And he's going to go for it, Fatal Push, and then that's going to be All right. him. All right. All right. Good job by Luke there, holding on that Fatal Push. Yeah. Realizing that he didn't need to animate Shambling Vent. Pretty good there, but... Yeah. Well, like, Isaiah knew he was probably dead right there. Like, it, yeah. if and you could kill him, that... Obviously, the, the play that Isaiah made, uh, it didn't require knowing anything in Isaiah's hand. It was just all on the board, so Luke yep. was able to combat that with the Fatal So, play. this sideboard has four stony silence. <laughs> I think we're bringing those in. Uh, we probably bring in Path. Yeah, it's going to be real bad for Isaiah. Uh, yeah, Path, I think, is pretty good here. Uh, yeah, we can bring in... So, if I'm Luke, I'm bringing the Paths, too. Mm -hmm. Is Module when it leaves the battlefield or when it dies? Dies. Okay, yeah, so Path's fun there. Um, Lily Lassop's good. Mm -hmm, I agree. Um, so yeah. Also, how chaotic clutch. <laughs> yeah. So, Luke, uh, so, when I'm on Abzan, I typically take out Liliana. Yep, I agree. Especially in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, so, actually, first Totem Pool is Thoughtseize. Because, like, what's that going to hit? Yeah, if you're on the play, it's probably fine, but... No, not really. Like, you have Inquisition that hits everything. Okay, sure. Yeah. Wait, did he just take out Lingering Souls? I want to punch him if he did. <laughs> I hope he didn't. And he, wait, he just put Damnation in, too. So he's hiding in Damnation as well. That's fine. No, Damnation's fine. Mm -hmm. Another way to answer Edge Champion. Yep. No, we didn't get to see if he did take out a Lingering Souls right. or not. Alright, so but... did he... I hope not. Lingering Souls are real good. Yeah, Lingering Souls are really good against Infinity. Yeah. No, uh, so, I know Luke brought in the Stonies. Yep, 100%. Liliana and Damnation. Yep. Liliana Lasso. Different yep. Liliana. I love Liliana Lasso. So, he probably took out Nihil Spell Bomb, because that's pretty bad here. Yeah, very bad. Like, it did nothing last game. Yep. I don't even think he used it, right? Uh, yeah, I want to, I, I probably should explain some stuff to Luke when he play, when he plays his deck. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things we want to Oh, okay, the, deck, <laughs> the but... two packs are coming. Okay. Path right. of Exile has been reconsidered here. Yeah. Uh, Bob's pleasure. pretty bad. Okay, th 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 look, he's taking out the Thoughtseize. He's uh -huh. It's like, yep, that's he's good. learning. Uh, Bob's also not that good. Figuring it out, yeah. Especially Thoughtseize on the draw, you should not consider it at all. But yeah. on the play, I can see it, but again, Inquisitions just can hit everything. And you'd yeah. rather have Path of Exile. I probably... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that sideboard is... Yeah, Veil is fine-ish. I mean, you can just take out four Veil. Like, you want Bob... Like, there's some mix you want Bob and Veil. I would agree. Um, I, I don't fault anyone to take out four Veils. And just keep Bob's. I like Bob, personally, in this... Games get weird post-board. They're, they're like, they're not yeah. as aggressive. Um... And Infinity has to be a lot more careful, whereas Game 1, they can just jam and try and go for an Infect kill. Yeah, or, or, like, something. Or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the veil is pretty slow overall. Like the whole thing of yep. like most like people who play green black X like keep veiling is like oh I can just kill all your dudes and make you suck the champ. It's like that's actually really hard to do. People just don't realize yeah. it. Uh, Luke's hand is pretty good. Yeah, it has yeah. a souls a path to K Grim Flare, a couple land souls. Path. No stony when he has four of those. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. He'll, he'll just top deck it. Yeah. That's what all good players do. Yep, there it is. Oh, nope. That's right. an Inquisition. So we're that's probably going to get uh, Goblet Shrine right here? I think so. Just going to... All right. You, you don't have to be that conservative. He's been very conservative, getting all, like, swamps nonstop. But yeah. he so does have another fat, so he can get the other two colors, obviously. But Yeah, you don't need white that much, honestly. Agreed. It's just lingering souls on. Actually, out of the sideboard, you bring in what, six copies of things that require white. Yes. Two path, four stony, and then you're gonna really want these lingering. Uh. Uh, I like taking plating here and just. Yeah. You no, you, no, we have double removal spell for the. Um, yeah. We already removal. have double removal spell for the two. Uh, Overseers. Yeah, I think plating here is fine. Cause like it's weird to take redundant copies. It is. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay, okay. This line's also is tricky. Yeah, it's nice because like since here. Isaiah doesn't have a second land source, uh, never mind. Yep. I don't know. Everything so, went went south real real quick. So, but he, actually, Lingering Souls in Luke's hand yep. invalidates this cranial plane also. Yep. I mean, like Luke's fine, I think. Okay. Yeah, fatal push. Yeah, yeah we're fine. He's in a very so good I don't mind playing the fetch land. Uh, pop up the fatal push right now. Yep. Yeah, you, you had to fetch... Yeah, I agree, Chaotic Clutch. Um, that was pretty greedy. But, so, Luke's hand does kind of invalidate the Cranial Plane already with the Lingering Souls. Sure, yeah. 
And also Stony Sounds if he does draw one off the top. Yeah. I'm going to be able to even equip it. Yeah, we're probably going to get Temple Garden or Godless Shrine here. Yep. If we don't, I'm going to punch Luke. Uh, Temple Garden, please. He has a force in hand. Okay. That'll work. And no, he's just playing the Mono Black deck now. Yeah. Dude, Mono Black's on, one of my... Mm -hmm. On his turn, he's going to yeah. get Grimflare Path. So they're not looking too bad. Yeah, like, Luke's hand's fine. Oh, a second Souls is pretty good. Yeah. So let's play Force. So we're probably going to go Grimflare, well, Path, Grimflare. That's it. I said I was picking up the uh, Steel Earth here before he even got removed. He knew it was coming. So, okay, no, keeps... Uh, Abrupt, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, in case, like, uh, Isaiah draws a third Mana Source. Or if he's just going to play out this uh, Cranial Fighting. Yeah. Uh, that, uh... Ooh. Yikes. I'd decay something here. Yeah, I, I, in response to combat, I would go ahead and fire off the decay on the Ravager. Force him to sack one of the yeah, creatures. Yeah, like, he, he just didn't use his mana at all that turn. That was pretty bad. Yeah. You, you want to be really mana efficient. And yep. he's just making souls, so. He's going to try uh, slowing down Isaiah's clock by blocking, but yep. it's not looking too good. Like, if any hand does yeah. have hands that really, like, slowed him down... Like, I mean, yeah. slow. So, if Luke can slow down Isaiah uh, long enough here, so then he can get Sony Silence, he's going to be looking real pretty. But. I mean, Sony Silence is kind of a mute point now. I mean, it means that he can't sack things to Ravager. I guess he could do it in response to the cast, but. Yeah. Alright. Cranial Planning is down as well. Yeah. The Mox Oval was the draw for turn. Do yeah, you know so what we that last card is? Uh, no, it's unknown. I have not seen it. He just kept the face. He looked at it and kept the face down. Yeah. No chance for us to look at it. A lot. <laughs> nope. He was like cards in hand. He was like Luke was like a lot more than you. No crap. Yeah, I, like at this point, like Isaiah's in a tough spot. Honestly, I actually think Luke is going to be able to get this one fairly yeah. easily. Look at his boxers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. This past turn it feels. Inquisition. Uh, okay. We might be able to see what we might get to see what the card is. Um, do we even want to? Oh, we could Inquisition paths, or oh. we could abrupt decay, flashback, lingering souls. Oh, whoosh. okay. Kind of like flashback, lingering souls. Decay what? Well, yeah. Uh, the Playden. Yeah, that's fine. He does have Fatal Push, right? No, he doesn't. I thought I thought Inquisition was Fatal Push. No, he has Grimflare Lingering Souls. Orland Jar is pretty good here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, Luke has Instant Sorcery, Land. He does not have Delirium. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. He needs a creature in there. So, it's sack it blocks. all to Yeah, Arkbound. I mean, you're just gonna sack the Arkbound. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Whoa! Okay. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. We right. got a little confused there. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's, I was very confused too. Yeah, that, that I'm always confused bad. though. Let's be real. All right. Isaiah's so now we here. like I I don't I don't hate uh, Grimflare flashback souls here. Yeah, I like that. Play, like we need to be personally. somewhat productive on our turns. Yep, and that's also using your mana very efficiently. No, he could use all of his mana this turn. And he has two Grimflares too, right? That's yeah. the draw. Or like I also don't hate just like casting. Casting the other lingering souls in his hand. Well, I think this is just better for the time being. Yeah. yeah this way you get to do two things. You get a lingering soul yep. and then you get a grim flare. Yep, he's just gonna play it out. The new Vraska maybe using in modern. Um and modern uh so uh, yeah, the uh, four mana of Vraska. Interesting. Um I I I'm gonna try it out personally. Yeah, I would. Def I would for sure try it out. I mean, it looks like fun, but I I'm mean, not sure. like, so like you can like sack souls to draw a card. Yeah. Can, like it also helps like with flooding out, like same way Tracker does. Yes. Uh, you can just like sack a, a sack an extra land, draw a card. It seems uh, it seems very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure. Yep. Hermione is a story as a creature, right? <sighs> no land permanent converted man cost three or less. I think. Okay, so it's abrupt. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. You for sure try yeah. it. What are you going to thin for it? What are you thinking? I don't know <laughs> yet. Plus. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> sure. You just re if you want to, like, replace, like, a Liliana of the Veil, vale, uh, one of your creatures, there's plenty of options in the deck, but... Yeah. 
Alrighty. Did he draw a third Grim Flare? Oh, no, it was a path. Okay. He, uh, he only has one white source, so he can't go path to exile and lingering souls. Um, so... We can ditch two lands. Yep. He's as he's thinking about keeping the uh, Shaman Man, it looks like. He's dumping them all, okay. Yeah. Pulse is kind of ugly. Yeah, Pulse, I, I do not like here. Yeah, Pulse is... I'd probably cast the Linger Souls in your hand then. No, no, no just path the Ravager. He's the Exiles, no, right? No, uh, so then he then. can just like move the counters around. In response, okay, sure. Uh, I like this play too. Um, because you still develop from the board and holding up the souls to block any of the infectors. Mm -hmm. Um, you can use Grimflare to block Arcbound too. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, one of Raska's, uh, that's the max I would cap it at, just one. Yeah. Well, uh, he does have pass, so you really don't need to block the Arcbound. Yep. He's, Luke has a lot of options here. I, Lingering Souls is busted. Right. Yeah, uh, here's the... Uh, yeah, so I uh, actually take my water bellum and lingers all the yeah. So based on that, I actually uh, put together like an Esper deck. I don't like. I was just like proxied up and like played with it. Yeah. Like three lingering souls, and you could play like path, and then Ranger of Eos in the main. And to get what? Oh my to god. Get death shadows. And I it actually you. worked, and it, it wasn't horrible. Like I it beat up humans and. Uh, it, oh, you beat up humans. Yeah, and uh, Grixis death shadow and a couple other decks, but Grixis death shadow. I think those are just good matchups, regardless. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. The best creature in modern Lingering Souls. I agree. For sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, one swap peep is fine. That means, like, so he, he can yeah. go souls, flashback souls now. Yep. Also means he just has two white sources, so he can go path and Lingering Souls, same turn. I don't see yep. Luke getting aggressive here. Soul. Yeah, my favorite soundtrack! <laughs> souls, souls flashback, souls, souls, flashback, souls, souls, flashback, souls. <laughs> uh, that souls should be Beautiful. exile, uh, yep. Scott. Yo, Luke. Oh, he All got right, it. There cool. we go. Now let's get those souls out. Beautiful uh, Pokemon. New Pokemon. Cards. Oh, shiny Noctowl! Ooh! Alright. There we go, get it in there. Slingshot hey, wait, forward. you have one spirit too, get enough that uh, extra spirit. No, he doesn't need to. Ah. He's... Yeah. Well, there's no reason not to. Eh. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> I've seen these Grim players do work. Uh, what do you think about Fatal Push? Uh, keep both. I think that's pretty good, especially with those Ink Moths. I mean, he has the Ink Moths on check. Yeah. So now we can double block an Ink Moth. I mean, yeah, but if he does, but at any time if he animates it, you can just Fatal Push it and just come yeah. off lands eventually. I mean, I don't know. I, Luke already won this game. I don't, not yet, actually. If Isaiah can do something this turn. Well, he has to go for an Infect Kill, but he has blockers, right? For days. Yeah, because Lingering Souls is the best creature. So. Yeah. Uh, like, is there a way to make these. Luke can always yeah. miss block because he is tapped out this turn. Yeah. So if he doesn't block correctly, he can just die out of nowhere, actually. Fun fact. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can try it. No, he's just passing. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think Isaiah sees the writing on the walls. I'm not getting out of this one. First title push is drawn. Yep. Oh, look how nice Isaiah is. I love Isaiah. Oh, yeah. Isaiah is such a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, these are all Robert's cards. He's like, I know. Yep. Well aware. <laughs> Alright, tapped. Swing? Yes. Yes, it does. I, I think Scott just... Regenerate taps, it does. It does. Yep. Get well, in there. I just want to make I, l I love Isaiah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. I guess we're blocking here. Oh, he's going to pump one? Mm-hmm. One on each. <laughs> Path in response. Nah, okay. So sack. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, wait. 
Oh, uh, that's not going to work how Isaiah wants. They have trample? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So he's going on a four, so. Yeah, he's going to take four. I, I don't know if I agree with that. Or no, doesn't he take. No, he takes four. Because, like, he doesn't have delirium. Oh, he doesn't have delirium. Okay, sure. Yeah. I thought he did. My bad. Now he does. <laughs> See, Stoney okay. does nothing. Just yeah. bin it. Yep, bin, bin it. It's way too late for that. He's considering it. No, he don't need it. No, yeah, like, you've already. Like... I mean, actually, he does prevent stuff. All right, so it's that, or you try and get a removal spell is the way I see it, right? Yeah. I mean, I think Stony Silence is fine. It means they can't sack more things to Ravenger. Yeah. I mean, uh, Ravenger also cannot sack themselves, so. Yes, he can. Oh, yeah. So those counters are stuck on that, which means that they can't get a yeah. uh, flying creature or something, but. Grandfather does, in fact, have Delirium now. Yep. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, it was, it was like I'm very dead there. <laughs> I'll try and do it. 2-0 right. for the F10 mid-range. Right. Yeah, 2-0 for the guy who stumbled his way to victory. It wasn't that bad. There was, it like was. a couple stumbles. Uh, hey, what's up, One Violence? How are you doing today? So, you may well uh, n notice a familiar voice here on Tuesdays. We got Matt Manier now. Yeah. Uh, I Jake, stop. Someone complained. I don't know who. I mean, we do know who. No names, yeah, though. Yeah, sure. Jake Valentine. It actually wasn't they, they just, No, they, they just want Robert to not be lonely, so uh, I mean, I'm here. I already am lonely. They're not fixing yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, having a little kid with me on Thursday is not going to fix that. Yeah, of course. I mean... <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was it for round one. Yep. Um, so just to clear, uh, do some stationary stuff. We are doing... 